The community of Kiku Cameroon has historically collected water from local streams contaminated with human and animal waste, resulting in a high incidence of diseases. In 2006, the community contacted Engineers Without Borders with the hopes of constructing a catchment for clean water. The EWB Yale chapter adopted the proposed water distribution project. My name is Tata Benoit Dumyoy. I'm an engineer, rural engineer. From, I graduated from the National Advanced School of Public Works, Yaoundé, Cameroon. And uh, I'm a member of Engineers Without Borders Cameroon. And I've been working with the Kiko Water Project for close to five years. Hi, I'm Parker Collins. I'm a junior in Trumbull, an environmental engineering major, and I joined Engineers Without Borders when I was a freshman. Hi, my name is Durga. I'm a senior in EWB, and I've been involved since I was a freshman. Hi, I'm Dana. I'm a senior environmental engineering major in Berkeley, and I've been involved in Engineers Without Borders since my freshman year. Engineers Without Borders, the national group, mandates that you invest in a community for five years and we have worked in Kiko since 2006. The original goal of the project was to construct a gravity-fed water distribution system for Kiku to provide them with clean and sustainable water. A clean spring was located to act as the source of the community's water. The catchment area around the spring has been designated a protected area. Currently, the distribution system includes an overflow tank, 20,000 liter primary storage tank, a 12,000 liter secondary storage tank, and 12 public standpipes throughout the community. We really stress um, creating something that's sustainable in the community. So the entire um, water distribution system is gravity fed. There's no filtration, there's no chlorination, there's no none of these agents that need to be provided. The water uh, source itself is, is fine to drink. At the beginning it was like cumbersome, complex, a very big project because at the beginning there was no structure, no storage tank, no standby, nothing and it was like we had to realize that we saw people suffering in the community, they needed our help and we had to realize all the structures in order to make them to stop their suffering. So the first time we could do that, we have been there. I was really excited by the prospect of being part of a project where you're involved all the way from the initial planning and fundraising stages to actually understanding the technology that you're, say, helping to raise funds for to following up with the community afterwards. It was, it was very interesting and it's a, it's a neat project. It's something that I didn't know um, a student chapter, you know, a, a university chapter could do, you know, build this, you know, help build really this gravity-fed water distribution system. In the past some years, people have been sick, sick too much sick, belly bike, because they do not have a good water to drink. But right now, you people came, engineer without water. Right now, you people came and give and give the, the clean water. I'll be very, I, I, I'm grateful, because right now, people are not more sick, the belly bike. In where all Oh, you know much. Oh, we don't know we even. I can for me love for me love as such a question. We don't even for me love. I've been such a question before in Jim and Sal, see a limb, so see me, sir, young enough. I've been observing it when it's a bear son. It could now go with Kai, no show with them, Kai, no show with them, and the engine. A number we may add to me self upon our. That's we are need to do in Java Pong. I will need to last to go back on the Lucy Bad first from Joshua. So run it's a people with them for that's where you age when that in the love of your relation. I live run. I won't give you a one of the LFC 87. It's really amazing this partnership has been created and um how we've been able to help and learn from each other. It's not just a one-sided uh, a one-sided uh, relationship, it's really a symbiotic thing and I think that's that's neat because we're students who are starting out um, in this prof in this engineering profession and they're, and they're a community in need and I think um, coming together and doing something like what we've been doing over the past few years is, is really cool. Working with people from different, with different cultural backgrounds, I've worked with 
engineers who had brought us here, students from the United States. And amongst those students, there are not only people from the United States. You have people from Singapore. You have people from Italy. You have people from Hong Kong, from China, who have worked in the project. So I've worked with so many people with different cultural backgrounds and I've learned a lot. Not just myself, but the students as well realize how important the village involvement is and how quickly development projects can fall apart if you don't have sufficient village involvement. Uh, that's not to belittle the technical side, but to uh, emphasize that there's some very important parts of the project involved with the village interaction and the politics going on within villages. The people we work with in Kiko um, were just amazing people that you hear so much about, you hear their names, um, but to put the face to the name and to actually see them is, is very different. We are so pleased to see the community starting to take up management of the system, the water distribution system, and the latrine project. It's so important to have ownership for the community and it brings us great satisfaction to know that our project is something that the community wanted and the community wants to maintain for perpetuity. And I guess EWB has really been one of my most meaningful experiences in college. Um, it's shown me an entirely new world and how we as students can really make a difference for a group of people. I feel so great, so happy. Uh, so great because I'm happy I have participated to solve the problems of Kiko. I will not say all of their problems, but the essential problems, which is that of health. Before we started the project of Kiko, the water project, people were dying because of waterborne diseases. But now, the people of Kiko, they have water. They are drinking water. The death rate has reduced. People who are suffering from waterborne diseases, they are produced. The number of people are produced. And everybody is happy. The community is developing. So I'm very grateful. I'm very happy. I think the future is bright for the project of Kiko. You are welcome in the name of the Lord. You are welcome in the name of the Lord. I can feel the glory of the Lord. You are welcome in the name of the Lord. I was thinking about majoring in engineering. Um, wasn't really sure what that meant or what people could do with engineering. Um, just thought it was people sitting around calculating all day, but really <laughs> there's a lot to it. There's a lot to do, um, and there's a lot of difference that we can make. It's interesting to see the ways in which relatively simple technology, PVC pipes and concrete, can make a big difference in the real world, and it's exciting to be part of that. Another thing I can say is just to greet you people in America. Say grateful to what they do, do to Kiko people. So I want to thank uh, Mr. Joshua, who brought you people here. And then thank Mr. Death and then his group. I want to thank them. Just to pray that God say, may they live well.